Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm ripping pages out of the ASTM, but not on purpose. At the very least, we know I got the ASTM TM open to the test I'm going to be performing. I always like to have these open. Welcome to Intelligent Concrete. My name is John Belkowitz, and before we get into the meat of the presentation, don't forget to like, subscribe, click that little bell down there. Um, we are going over colloidal silica in a grab mixture as per ASTMC 1567-ish. Um, we went over two previous videos where we talked about what the colloidal silica is doing for the grout to protect it or mitigate that alkali silica reactivity. We even dove into what alkali silica reactivity was. We went over weighing out the mix. I went over the mix design with you and Whitney was gracious enough to weigh out the materials. And then we went into sequencing the mix and an easier way of getting colloidal silica into your hydrated cement matrix or your cementitious composite without worrying about agglomeration. So today what we're going to talk about is that test and it's really covering a small portion of ASTMC 1260. Uh, we want you to see what we're going to be using and it is an accelerated test. Normally, or it used to be used as a 14 day accelerated mortar bar method and the idea was to get, make sure that whatever concoction you were using with your aggregate, you got less than 0.1% expansion at 14 days and now it's actually been pushed to 28 days. So you're putting it in an 80 degree Celsius, what is 175 degree Fahrenheit uh, uh, oven. It's in a very special Tupperware container. You're going to see it here in a little bit. That first 24 hours from uh, hardening or from water cement, you're going to plop it into that temperature or that tap water bath that's in the oven. Uh, at the same time, you're putting a one normality solution of sodium hydroxide bath in the oven to get it up to temp and then 24 hours after you put that bar, that set of bars, set of three bars in your tap water bath, it goes into your sodium hydroxide. You're going to be measuring it at, what is it, 137, 1014, 137, 1014, 17, 21, and 28. Isn't she smart? So we do that using a length comparator to look at how the sodium hydroxide causes the mortar bar to expand over time. And that expansion is coming from the combination of the sodium hydroxide, the alkalis and the concrete, the heat, and then that reaction between the alkalis and that reactive aggregate causing that, that ASR gel to uh, manifest at the interface, expanding, and then overall causing that, that mortar bar to expand. And we see that expansion with the bars using the length comparator. So that's what we're going to jump into right now. This is the mortar bar expansion test where we took our sample out of our ADC oven and it's been soaking in a water bath for the first 24 hours. We used a tear to uh, measure or to get a zero on the uh, length comparator. And then we take the samples. Thanks for joining us today. We had a great time mixing and making some concrete. Uh, what we were working on is the ASR gel mortar bar expansion test and it's accelerated method where we're cooking these mortar bars in a sodium hydroxide solution and measuring the length change over 28 days. Uh, let us know your thoughts, your comments, your concerns when using colloidal silica to mitigate ASR. And if you have a colloidal silica admixture and you're wondering whether or not uh, it's good for ASR mitigation, this is a great test to use. Have a great day. Go concrete. Beat asphalt.